All right, and so up next, we got Gabriel Benitez against Justin Janes. Mm -hmm. You know, this is another fight that was scheduled for a few weeks ago. I'm pretty sure both dudes came down with the Rona, so had to be rescheduled to now. Uh, but still, you know, very much looking forward to it. Benitez comes in, he has, you know, a bit of a reach advantage. He hasn't won since 2018. Um, he's only fought twice since then in the UFC. A couple of tough losses against Yusuf and Morales. So, you know, looking forward to seeing if he can bounce back. Uh, Justin James, you know, he recently made his UFC debut about six months ago. He's gone one and one since. He knocked out Camacho, but then had a tough loss to Gavin Tucker, which was a very, you know, interesting, fun fight. But, you know, again, another dude who's taking his third fight in five months. So, you know, he should be battle tested. He should be mm -hmm. ready to go. Cardio should be up there. And, you know, before you dive right into it, I just wanted to drop a fun fact that I stumbled upon Justin James, but his dad actually has cancer and is flying down to be in his corner for this fight, you know, as he's projecting this might be his last fight. So, you know, I thought that was kind of a cool tidbit, a lot of motivation there for Justin James. So, you know, let's let you dive right into it. Yeah, so, you know, I got a couple interesting stories with, with James as well. And we watched him fight, right? And he, it's funny, like, I've actually had a personal discussion with James about how that last fight went. And he actually, you know, kind of agreed with me that he was a little flat-footed in that last fight, but the weight cut didn't go as well as he wanted it to. And he did say, like, that's something he's going to be working on very, very, very hard going into this fight against Benitez. Good thing for James is that last fight that he was supposed to have was, you know, a couple weeks ago in November, you know, Benitez tested positive for COVID. So that bought him a couple more weeks. Like you said, you know, his dad's going to be in the corner. The thing with James and, and that whole concept of, you know, people must be wondering, like, you know, it, has, it doesn't look like he's been in the UFC for that long. doesn't look like he's been fighting that long. But, you know, the guy has an immense amateur record. He's been in the game for a really long time. I personally would love to see him kind of stick it out. You know, I, I'm sure there's a lot of personal things that are going on. And, and you know what? He, he's got his UFC shot in 2020. So at least he can say he did that if that's kind of like what the goal was when this all started but he's got some skill he's got some power in those hands and, and it would be nice to see a guy like that who's got such a good you know heart who's got such a good you know you know who am i to him to have to actually like enter a conversation with me about how his fight went and how he thinks he needs to improve and and what he thinks you know kind of happened to him in there and, and what he should change against benitez and that was a really interesting experience for me and you know going into benitez it's the kicks right like we, we love what he throws when, when it comes to the kicks fighting at aka you know he's gonna be boys with our boy dc and all those guys but that's what he brings you know is he known as like the wrestler the king velasquez in the dc not really but he trains with some of these big boys and the kicks are where you want to be careful with him. Watch the head kicks. Watch, you know, some of those demolition leg kicks that can maybe put you down. <laughs> That's what I really kind of want to look out for with him. But at the same time, you know, just had COVID. Is now moving down to 145 to take on James in this fight. You know, that's the part that kind of really rubs me the wrong way a little bit because I think James is going to be going into this fight very, very motivated and looking to, you know, make up for that last fight because you, you mentioned it best. Like that that Tucker fight was was something where he was a huge favorite. And, mm -hmm. you know, you he looked flat footed. He agreed to it. And by the third round, you know, he, he stayed in it, man. He stayed in the fight. But, you know, Gavin Tucker is a good Canadian fighter, great prospect and, you know, made him tap. Yeah, absolutely. And you can't you can't fight with James's heart. And that's going to be in full display this Saturday, for mm -hmm. sure, especially with his dad in his corner. Mm -hmm. um, moving into Paisano's odds here. Mm -hmm. Where do you see Vegas landing with this line, given, you know, the fact it's a rematch and or not a rematch rescheduled mm -hmm. uh, about? And, and so it's interesting here. So for me, I, I just think that there could be some recency bias here. There could be the fact that, you know, Benitez is a bit more of a name. So I am leaning to one of those classic lines of, say, Benitez at a minus 115, minus 120, because that does kind of put him in a bit of that dog range uh, with that 50-point bracket. But, yeah, I mean, in terms of everything that you can read on paper about these guys, I just can't help but feel Benitez might get the edge. But at the same time, I, I can question that. Uh, and, and to be honest, I don't think this is one that'll surprise you too much. Uh, Benitez does come in in a favorite, slightly higher number than you expected, mm -hmm. closer to about a minus 190. Okay. Um, you know, yeah, Vegas is fearing those kicks a little bit, but Janes comes in, you know, anywhere between a 160 and 170 dog, you know, mm -hmm. which, which provides a lot of value given all that backstory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the way he kind of fights, right? like that, like the length fighting from Benitez is, is where I see a bit of the advantage. But at the same time, if, if James can get in there and if he can actually land some big blows, because that's what he's going to be trying to do, right? Like landing those big, big right hooks and things like 
that can ride, kind of knock you off your socks a bit, you know? Like, that's the only way you're mm -hmm. going to kind of put Benitez off through this game. And I think if he can avoid some of those, you know, real menacing kicks to kind of slow him down, that might help him in, say, the later rounds. But, like, no real huge height advantage or anything like that for either guy. So that's where I think, you know, the length fighting and things like that, if James you know, uses that experience to his advantage, maybe he can actually get in there and maybe land those blows, maybe get a takedown and work his, his, his offense, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, we'll, we'll kind of stay tuned for this one, even as I track line movement right now. Uh, it is continuing to move in Benitez's favor. The live line right now is minus 200. Okay. So, you know, we can't we can get Jane's at a plus 170. Let's wait till weigh-ins and see if there's any true value on the dog there. Perfect. Sounds good to me. As usual, hit that subscribe button. It's Please below. Do. We need, need you to hit that bell button. Our information is there. Instagram, Twitter. Our picks go up there closer to the fight. So stay tuned for that. Anything else you need to plug there, Siraj? Yeah, one thing I want to quickly touch on, you know, we've been really happy with the feedback that we've gotten on the MMA stuff. We did find that kind of our own Kaizen account was getting a bit convoluted there because we're putting so much effort and having so much fun doing this that we thought, you know what? This is becoming our bread and butter. It's the one thing that we're consistently doing every week for you guys. So let's go ahead and make our own MMA page. So right now we do have pretty much a brand new uh, account that's been set up within the last week or so. The Kaizen MMA, go check it out. If you love the sport, if you love us, by all means, all of our picks, some clips of the show will be on there but youtube if you want the full show or you know last minute you want to check out some fighters before you make your picks for friday saturday we'll have the individual clips clips up by then so less than three four minutes for you to analyze your fighter and get that pick in perfect that was fun Suraj. always that a pleasure fun. man mm -hmm. yeah we'll see you soon i'm really excited man we'll talk soon probably before saturday take care, <laughs> take care brother easy man